Hi guys, Amanda here. Well, if you ever wondered what the players get up to in their off season, it's all about sun, surf, and loads of fun. Today I'm here at Manly at the Arnett Pro Junior Surfing Comp, where some of our favorite players have come to lend their support to the surfers. Ricky, it's your first time coaching the Australian side? It is, yes. Yeah, so I'm very excited, actually. Uh, privileged to do it and uh, looking forward to it. And we want to get it back. So do I. It's <laughs> a, uh, uh, something that I'm sure the boys will uh, be very keen on doing as well. Bad news for Collingwood today with star rookie Dale Thomas in a race against time to be back for this year's final series. Thomas had surgery today after breaking his collarbone in the dramatic final stages of the weekend loss to Adelaide. Guys, have a great night. We're going to get back to the bowling. Enjoy the weekend and don't forget, Lady Luck is on your side. Go Australia! Now today I'm joined by a cheeky little character, Spud the Sea Lion. <laughs> now Spud and I were talking earlier and we've decided we want the new Gold Coast team to be called the Sea Lions, don't we Spud? <laughs> <laughs> not the Dolphins, definitely not the Dolphins. No, no, see Spud's not happy with the Dolphins. Ryan, this is your second year of coaching. You took New Zealand to a win last year. Will you stay on top? Well, that's what, that's what we're aiming to do and uh, we have to prepare well. We found some pro surfers to help us out. We've got Fisher, Blake, Bo and Sam. They're going to teach us losers how to surf. Wallabies coach John Connolly is keeping his cards close to his chest over changes for the crucial Tri-Nations clash with New Zealand next week. Australia struggled to beat South Africa in Sydney on Saturday, sparking calls for selectors to wield the axe. Jonathan, it must have been such a proud moment when you got chosen. Yeah, definitely. So probably the highest honour you can get in our game and you know, I'm very proud. And how do you think the team will go? I mean, you got chosen on Sunday and now you have to play Friday. Yeah, it's a short turnaround, but no one's complaining, you know, we're representing our country, so, you know, everyone's proud and, and ready to go. Darren, obviously Wayne Bennett was under some pressure coaching the Australian side. How do you think Ricky will go? Oh, no, I think Ricky did a fantastic job. He's got a, a great record at, at club level, at state level, so I can't see why I can't continue at uh, test level. Look who we've run into, Chad and Sam. You must be down here all the time. Yeah, we come down here, we get in the green room pretty often, and uh, yeah, it's good to be in there, and oh, I've seen Chad's face every time. What's the green room? The barrel, the tube. Right. You know? okay. And how do you go, Chad, on the wave? Yeah, not too bad. I do, you know, every now and then do a round answer or a bit of laid back snap every now and then. And of course all the money raised head straight to the kiddies at the Sydney Children's Hospital in Randwick and the Mater Hospital in Brisbane. We'll have a fabulous weekend. Thank you for your time Spud and don't forget Lady Luck is on your side. Oh I think you liked me. <laughs>